that's gonna suck. So this is home. It's very lackluster. Where is everybody? New home. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys to the kitchen are in the hallway. It's a golden flower. Long time ago, humans... A human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the humans called for help. You took the key and put it on your phone keychain. It's a note. Howdy! Help yourself to anything you want. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. There's something white fur stuck in the drain. Stuff dog's very clean. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. It's a golden flower. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? You got the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. There's a lot of striped shirts in here. Over time, Azrael and the human be became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzler Champs 98. The bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's Asgore's journal. All the pages say, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. You unlock the chain. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through their barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset and back to the village of the humans.
Lazarus reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Screams ran out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after he was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But. Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. He will give us hope. He will save us. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Wow, that was, um, interesting. <laughs> that was really sad, too. You finally, so you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of the world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? That's an acronym. It stands for execution points. The way of quantifying the pain you inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. 
When you earn enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you, you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by getting out, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Throne room. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Zyla. It's empty. All the soul, all the all the souls that he's gotten so far. And my name is on that coffin. Hi. I'm here. <laughs> Dum-dee-dum. -dum. Oh? Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh. Yeah. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. 
I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh shit. He took away my mercy key? Oh f You don't want to fight- I don't want to fight you! Stop! Stop! supposed to do how I'm not going to fight. I won't. Okay. If this doesn't work, I have to do something. Well, something that doesn't involve doing all this. Alright, motherfucker! Let's do this! There's a barrier, blah 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 blah, I've seen this already. So it keeps us all trapped underground. If by chance you have any unfinished business, Please do what you must do. Let's, let's go this. This is it, then. Ready? Yep. I'm ready.
Alright. Got we can't we don't have to do this. He doesn't fucking care. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight. Everything gets funny for a moment. All right. Ah. Ah. All right. Ow. Ow. All right, let's. All right, still. All right. All right, follow the hands. That doesn't work.
shit! Okay! Okay! Okay, hold on. So that's how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. No. I did this all mercy like. You still want at me? Go ahead. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. What... what the fuck's going on? It's a fucking flower, isn't it? Fuck you! Fuck you! You idiot, you haven't learned a thing. Go fuck yourself! In this world, it's kill or be killed. I fucking hate you. You're an asshole. <laughs>